can you imagine the power of this nakshatra that the entire vimshotri dasha starts from this nakshatra yes whoever is the lord of this particular nakshatra the vimshotri dasha will start from that particular planet just imagine the power of this nakshatra there is no other nakshatra which is more important than this nakshatra and that is the chandra nakshatra and that is why it is known as janma nakshatra so in the vedic context wherever you ask somebody what is your nakshatra you are actually referring to their moon nakshatra although every planet including your ascendant your lagna rising sign is also in a particular nakshatra but wherever you say nakshatra hey what's your nakshatra it's no other nakshatra except the moon nakshatra so the moon nakshatra is the most important and because not only because it tells us a lot about ourselves and this life but it also tells a lot to us about our previous lifetimes okay so therefore we need to understand this from a past life perspective and not just this life now you may be wondering why do i need to know this okay what will i do by knowing my past life well see i always tell don't bog uh, don't bother too much about you know the, the details of your past life because you can't change anything okay and that's not important anymore it's like if you know that you are having malaria it's important to treat your disease right treat the malaria rather than trying to find out who uh, which was the mosquito where were you which country did the mosquito come and you know inject uh, that malaria into you right so therefore understand at a broader level about your past life and then take the lessons and move ahead in this life okay so now there are 10 lessons and 10 karmic uh, things you can understand about your moon uh, moon nakshatra and you can use them in this life also okay these are very 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 important so the first thing that the moon nakshatra tells you is the thought at the time of your death of your past just the recent past life so what were you thinking at the time of death so krishna says in gita right that whatever you are thinking at the time of death that state you shall attain right antakale cha mame va swaran mukta kaleva this is what krishna says and that is why it is said you know antakale narayana smriti so if you are thinking of lord narayana at the end of life you will go back to the spiritual world the vaikuntha planets never ever to come back but the very fact that we are here still and we didn't make it there <laughs> it means lord narayana was the last person who was in our thoughts right <laughs> otherwise we have we would have been there and not uh, you know i would have not been making this youtube video and you would have not been hearing this okay so therefore what were you thinking at the last moment because it is said that at the last moment you see a hundred lifetimes of yours you know hundred lifetimes will flash back okay and it is also said in some places that at the time of death you will have a pain of 40000 scorpion bites in other places it is said 10000 but nonetheless <laughs> it's very painful that is very painful because everything you are stripped off from everything all right so therefore it is imperative that you you understand how powerful death is and at the end of life what were you thinking that is what the moon nakshatra tells you number 2 it tells you your unfulfilled desires which you will perpetually try to fulfill in this life at time and that is why the vimshotri dasha starts from the nakshatra lord of your moon nakshatra so suppose your moon is placed in rohini your vimshotri dasha kram will start from moon because rohini is lorded by the moon himself okay so therefore it's very important that you see what are the stories associated with that particular nakshatra and some important characters and what kind of desires did they had you know like what kind of unfulfilled desires did these characters have in their uh, particular life life span okay so for example let's take ashwini nakshatra you know we know the ashwini kumaras they had a particular desire right 
So what was that? So similar desires we could also have and that that nakshatra can tell us that we are trying to fulfill those desires in this lifetime. Okay. Number three, it will tell you who your primary associates were. Why? Because the people of this, the people who you associate with, they will inject desires. So, for example, many people when they go to engineering colleges, maybe even medical also, they will pick up bad habits like drinking, smoking. Why? Because when they were in their home, protected by the sanctity of their parents and maybe some elder, they were they were fine. But then the moment they went out, some senior came and said, oh, look, 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 you should smoke this. You know, it's very enjoyable. Okay. And then what happened? You started once, twice, thrice, and then the rest is history, right? <laughs> so therefore, you have to understand that the, the moon nakshatra will tell you uh, if I say in Hindi, Kiske saath aap kutte baithte the? Who, with whom did you associate for a very long period? That's very important, okay? Because you will know that these people have shaped your desires and that can help you identify what is this, what are your roadblocks, okay? Very, very, very important. Number four, the it can tell you the activities that you are involved with and this is related to the Nakshatra Lord, okay? So, for example, if you are born uh, with Purva Falguni Nakshatra, which means your moon is in Leo, in Purva Falguni, then Purva Falguni is lauded by Venus, right? So, it might mean to a large extent that you, your past lifetimes, not just the recent, many, many, many lifetimes, they were filled with activities related to Venus, Shukra, okay? So Venus could be anything, you know, love, romance, creativity, like... Oh, Cars, perfumes, luxury products, could be gadgets, whatever. So, no matter whichever part of the world you were in your previous lifetimes, whichever, whichever uh, continent, uh, whichever language, whichever culture, whichever gender, you might have been involved with these things, okay? Because you will never find any nakshatra which is not, you will never find any uh, particular nakshatra and the stories which are not related to the nakshatra lord, okay? Uh, so, for example, uh, Purva Falguni, you know, what Purva Falguni it deals with, you know, sen sensual, sexual enjoyment and is lauded by Venus. So, you see the connection is always there, okay? So, that that is very important. Uh, it is also very important to study the nakshatra lord and the placement of the nakshatra lord, of course. Number five. It will show you pa your last life parallels with the story of the nakshatra. So, for example, like I give the example of Rohini. So, if your moon is in Rohini, then if you see the s story of Rohini nakshatra, we see, you know, Lord Krishna was falsely accused of, you know, stealing the Shamantak money, right? So, we know the story of Shatranjit and we know uh, Jambavan, we know Jambavati, you know, and the marriage. So, there could be a situation where somebody puts a false accusation against you and you have to go and defend. Okay, like Lord Ram, Punar Vasu Nakshatra. The story goes like, you know, he had to prove himself and win the hand of Sita Devi, right? By uh, by showing his prowess in the Sabha. Okay, and so he had to literally win over Sita Devi by, you know, like taking the Shiv Thanush, okay? which was there in the house of Janak Maharaj. So it did not come for free. Okay, so Punar Vasu Nakshatra people, nothing is free in this world. You've got to work. <laughs> Number six, it can show your primary ideals in your past lifetimes. Okay, and so if, you know, your moon is in a nakshatra which is related to Venus, you know, then it is very much possible that you had Venusian idols. You know, you might have idealized uh, like, you know, film stars or, you know, like people in the media, you know, glam business, okay? And because, again, the same same rule, that will impact your brain in this lifetime and you may be, you may get attracted to the same kind of people, okay? So, therefore, it is imperative that you understand and Rahu can give you attraction, you know, like your, whatever, moon is in Shatabisha Nakshatra or Swati Nakshatra, you may be very much attracted to 
foreigners or you know like yeah uh, people from different cultures and communities okay and it is possible that in previous lifetimes also you might have idealized these people number seven it will give you see the moon nakshatra is like a glass with which you view the world it's like spectacles okay so if the moon so if a person has moon in a particular nakshatra like uh, moon nakshatra is swati for example then the person will always see the world in a bit different way okay because the word swati means swati it's like taking you away from your roots and your original culture system and all this so so person with swati nakshatra moon can be very revolutionary at times because he or she will try to think in a different way out of box okay because the moon nakshatra is that way so therefore it's like a lens okay which purifies your uh, thoughts and your objectives in a good or in a bad way number 8 it can show you your fears of your past lifetime okay so yeah what kind of fears did you have okay so if 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 your you know moon is in a mercury and nakshatra for example you know like jeshta okay so yeah it could be that you 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 would fear you know controversy scandals or even a part of it okay or again just like ruin as i said you know somebody tried to defame you and you are very fearful maybe the same thing will happen to me in this lifetime okay so therefore your fears will be seen and number 9 your joys is will also be seen your joy is joy is joy is your happiness okay so you will understand what makes you happy now that may be good that may not be good i'm not saying it is always good okay but it will give you an indication about yourself so therefore if you feel that you are too much happy when something happens you know like for example you know pulu of alguni rohini they may be too much no yeah they may be too overly enthusiastic and ecstatic when something uh, charming comes out in their life you know so they get some jewel or you know some jewelry or they meet somebody who is very attractive you know so they they get they they have this fascination okay and so because the fears and the joys both come from this nakshatra okay and last but not the least it shows you your primary objective of your previous lifetime okay so for example if moon is in a particular nakshatra you know like uttara falguni for example then it shows you know your uh, primary objective in life was to have good deals you know good uh, good collaborations and do things together with people because the same thing you might continue in this lifetime so therefore if you want to know where you can do good in you know in your profession or in your marriage you know what kind of things you should be aspiring for then yes always go and see the moon nakshatra and that will give you amazing clues about your own life okay so therefore use it not just to learn your past lifetime but also to know about this life that is equally important right or maybe more <laughs> all right so thank you so much for your patience don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure please take care jai sri ram